Welcome to M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com. Today's video we're going to talk about indirect and area passes. So these, these passes work in scenarios where perhaps there's a D in the middle of my player so I can't make a direct pass to him. So one of the things that happens, you'll see it with a, a lot of younger hockey players, is they're still going to try to force this pass through. Uh, in this case it would be the defender maybe steps up, takes a shot on net. But what we want to do is we want to get the players to see the ice a little bit better and to see that there's other options even though this direct pass isn't open. So the first one we're going to talk about is the area pass. And what we're going to do in this one is my player is slightly behind the D and I'm going to assume that the D is moving forward. I'm moving up ice. The D is moving in on me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the puck to an area of the ice where I know my teammate can get it even though it's not going to land directly on his tape um, as soon as I move it. So if I move forward here and my player starts to move to the neutral ice, I can set the puck into an area that he can skate into. So again, the key is that we don't have to put it tape to tape, we just have to put it in an area where we think our teammate's gonna be able to win the race. So in this case, if I catch this D moving forward, I know that if I set the puck in that area, that defender's not a threat to get that puck. Perhaps the other D is, but at least I know that my teammate's got a chance to get this puck in the neutral zone. So again, setting it here, set it in the neutral, and let my player skate right into it. The next option we're going to show you is actually the opposite where we've got a teammate who's at in, the, in neutral ice and we're going to actually use the boards to set it into that area. So again, it is an area pass, but in this case our scenario is a little bit different. Maybe the D's pinching in on me as the puck carrier right now and I draw the D to the inside of the ice. I, I see my teammates up at center. What I want to do is I want to use the wall to set that puck into an area, again, that my teammate can skate into. So in this case, it's a very simple pass. It's a very simple pass off the wall, but this is gonna do a couple things. It's gonna give my teammate speed when he's picking up the puck because he's already moving through that area. And number two, it's gonna catch the defenseman flat-footed and, uh, and give our team an opportunity. So in this case here, just take a step, simple off the boards, and my teammate's gone. So again, these are, these are real basic options, but we want to show you a couple different things just to get thinking a little bit about how we can move the puck when there's not a direct pass option open. We'll see you next time at M2Hockey and HockeyShare.com.